Students at LaPorte Elementary are using art to warm hearts. For this week's Golden Apple, Jamil Donath shows us how fourth graders are using paint and pillows to reach out to foster children. I forgot how to make a house. These LaPorte Elementary fourth graders may look like they are just working on an ordinary project. What happened to that red? But they are actually playing with paint and pillowcases to give to foster care children, like LaPorte High School student Valencia White. It means a lot because when I first came to foster care, I, was, I didn't have baskets of clothes and everything that I had. When the students learned that foster kids like White have to carry their belongings in a trash bag, they wanted to do something about it. So they came up with the Pillow Pals project. Mrs. Smirker showed us this movie about it and then the entire class wanted to do it. So these fourth graders aren't just decorating pillowcases, they are also the masterminds behind the whole project. Just to give the kids something, something to have. A garbage bag is just for garbage. It's like carrying around your own garbage. Each kid gets to design their own pillow pal by putting in their own creativity. Mm -hmm. And what better way to do that than a handprint? Some drew pictures. I drew SpongeBob. Others wrote touching messages. My design is to be about God mm -hmm. and t to know that he's always with you and he will never leave you. Or jotted down silly comments. I heart monkeys. But whether silly or serious, it always came from the heart. We want to make them feel like they have something to carry it in other than trash. And no matter how different each pillowcase was from the other, every student made their design with the foster child in mind. I think they like it and they really appreciate it. I do all work into it and I hope they like it. So bedazzled bedding may seem like a small gesture to a foster child, but if you ask these fourth graders, they will tell you it's the simple things that mean the most. And foster kids like White couldn't agree more. For this week's Golden Apple, Jamil Donneth, Lakeland News.